Dragon Ball Super's Tournament of Power was without question one of the most eventful moments that we've ever witnessed go down within the Dragon Ball series, and not only having to witness a multiversal battle, but we've seen several characters break their limits during the actual tournament itself, but what if I told you that a different set of circumstances actually went down involving Universe 7 and Universe 11 by not only introducing the concept of Vegito against Jiren, but also giving Vegito Vegito the powers of Ultra Instinct to battle head to head against some of the multiverse's strongest warriors. However, before we dive further into the action, here is a word today from our sponsors. This video is sponsored by Bricks Breaker Quest, a very simple and fun gaming experience you can play on any mobile device, phone, or tablet with a very addicting and unique achievement system that rewards its players with each quest they complete, allowing you to stay ahead on the global leaderboards by clicking on the tracking link located down in the description box below, you will be able to experience not only a multiplayer support system which allows you to tangle with some of the absolute best players in the world, along with an offline gameplay mode available if you're looking to enjoy yourself on your downtime, Bricks Breaker Quest offers a dynamic gaming system where players can smash through dozens of uniquely designed stages and worlds with customizable ball skins made available along with two different ball sizes to choose from. The game the gaming world of Bricks Breaker Quest is essentially yours for the taking. And the game is simple, also designed for one-handed gameplay, so if you are looking to get your game on with one of the absolute most uniquely experienced mobile games out right now, then be sure to download Bricks Breaker Quest today and be sure to click on the link located down in the description box below to get started. As once more before we begin, if you are new to this channel and have a love and passion for all things Dragon Ball and anime related, then be sure to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon to never miss a single upload and if you guys love and enjoy dragon ball and cannot wait to see more then be sure to go on ahead and slap a big fat like down below by giving this video a big thumbs up along with checking out the official dragon ball fan mangas playlist located down in the description box below to where there you will be able to find all the latest and best dragon ball fan mangas created by the community for the community so be sure to take a minute to go on ahead and check that playlist out located down below as we kick off the beyond dragon ball super alternative tournament of power manga chapter special as goku and vegeta have combined their bodies into one using the potara earrings and finally introducing ultra instinct vegeta although the art is relatively wonky in the fact that this is an up-and-coming artist from the jump we get to see how vegeta wastes little time in immediately activating ultra instinct but jiren doesn't seem to be concerned at all but instead as vegeta Vegito looks on, he went along to tell Jiren, you can't beat me Jiren, it's over, but Jiren doesn't have anything to say rather than being afraid or concerned. Jiren just simply looks on. As Beerus went along to comment, why did both of them achieve that state so suddenly? As Whis went along to reply, since Vegeta is better at attacking and Goku is better at defending, they've managed to achieve Ultra Instinct by combining both traits in allowing them to both attack and defend subconsciously. So in retrospect in this story, we're going back to the original narrative that Vegeta is better at attacking and Goku's better at defending, which of course isn't really applied within the Dragon Ball Super show, but as the other destroyers Kaioshin and Angels look on, Belmont goes on to cry out, this is bad. As the Supreme Kai went along to comment, we have seen Vegito's overwhelming power years ago, and now with Ultra Instinct, I am sure that our universe will survive. And as Whis looks on at this newly formed fusion, Whis went along to comment, he might be stronger than Jiren now. So in the comment section below, let's say in theory, if we did have a concept such as Ultra Instinct Vegito be introduced in the T.O.P., do you guys believe that Ultra Instinct Vegito would be stronger than Jiren or vice versa? Because here, it would appear that everyone seems to be acknowledging the fact that sure, Vegito's power now is astronomically higher than how they've seen previously against Merge Zamasu and Super Buu Gohan Absorbed. As we get to observe how Jiren is the first to make his initial move in attempting to strike Vegito, but Vegito having to be so cognitive and aware of his environment, not only does he stomp out Jiren so much so, 
to where he kicks Jiren up directly in the sky, which I really don't see how Jiren could get the victory over Ultra Instinct Vegito if he's not going all out. But as soon as Vegito kicks Jiren up in the sky, Vegito meets Jiren halfway through as Jiren is flying up in the sky. And with Vegito sticking his hand out, he immediately uses the force of his power to push Jiren with such force in attacking him directly. Jiren ends up flying directly into some of the rocks down below. And with Jiren crashing on down, this doesn't stop Jiren from further retaliating against Vegito by unleashing a barrage of attacks. But since Vegito had unlocked Ultra Instinct, every single one of Jiren's blasts are easily countered as we get to see how Vegito is so quick in not only deflecting each and every single one of the blasts that Jiren had fired, but Jiren was actually smart enough in teleporting behind Vegito in attempts of attacking him. But as soon as Jiren tries to make contact by his attempts of punching Vegito in the back of the head, Vegito quickly moves behind Jiren and then proceeds to elbow Jiren directly in the spine, causing Jiren to crash down below again. So despite what Jiren does, he is in no way, shape, or form even remotely able to hold a candle to Ultra Instinct Vegito. So I think that this is actually very accurate in the fact that if this actually happened, Vegito would easily mop the floor with Jiren, but as Jiren fights Vegito, elsewhere we get to observe how Topo is fighting Frieza. And with Frieza slowly turning his head, he went along to acknowledge, so both of them have fused. This makes my plan much easier. So Frieza definitely has a plan in wanting to use this fusion to his advantage while Topo is standing directly across from him. And as we get to see Jiren stand up, he brushes himself off as of course it is visible that he has bruising on his face with of course a little bit of blood by his mouth. Vegito is looking down as Jiren is looking up. And I really love this shot here because it goes as far as to show that Jiren isn't backing down, but neither is Vegito. Vegito serious, Jiren serious, and that's all that really matters in this story given the fact that we've often known Vegito for being the one to toy around and take things a little bit too lightly, but here he is taking every moment as serious as he should, knowing the fact that if he fails, his universe will be destroyed. And with Jiren looking up at Vegito, he went along to say to himself, it looks like I don't have to hold back anymore. As the spectators observe how how Jiren then powers up to 50% of his actual true power, even with 50%, there is an unusual aura that begins to surround Jiren that eerily enough resembles that of Ultra Instinct. And what I really find fascinating about this is in the original Dragon Ball Super show, we never quite understood the similarities in terms of aura between Jiren and MUI Goku because at the very end their auras were similar except one was red and one was blue. And I really love this shot of Ultra Instinct Vegito having to stand above the actual tournament stage as of course Jiren begins to raise his power level up even more. By the end, we have ourselves a stare down between Ultra Instinct Omen Vegito and Jiren at 50%. The two to stare down as Jiren is the first to make his move, but every single time Jiren attempts to attack Vegito, it's evident that Vegito is easily able to counter Jiren, and I really love how Jiren displays his rapid punches, but each and every single time Jiren even attempts to throw one punch, Vegito easily counters. And I love how Vegito then, for the first time, cracks a smile on his face as he then glares directly at Jiren, and very similar to Jiren's glare, Ultra Instinct Vegito manages to knock Jiren back with this one singular attack as the Omni Kings are left amazed with them having to come in amazing. He pushed Jiren with his glare and with the Dai Shinkan looking down, he went along to comment, I didn't think a mortal would achieve that state. Universe 7 is surely interesting. So with the Grand Priest even going as far as to acknowledge the fact that not even he ever would have thought that someone like Vegito would achieve this state so quickly, it's very evident that based on Jiren's demeanor, Jiren looks to be in trouble because right now Jiren can't seem to do anything against Ultra Instinct Omen Vegito. But even then, this doesn't stop Jiren from once again charging directly in, and as he attempts to hit Vegito, Vegito easily blocks 
blocks off Jiren's attack, he then proceeds to grab Jiren by the face and slam Jiren directly down onto the ground. And I really appreciate the fact that every single time Jiren gets back up, he is met by this massive wall that he can't seem to overcome, as only then Vegito throws Jiren out into the distance, and with Jiren having to hit the rocks behind him, very similar to what Dispo did to Frieza in Dragon Ball Super, Vegito ends up grabbing Jiren by the face, and he ends up dragging his face through the rocks just as Dispo did to Frieza. So again, by the end of this, there is nothing that Jiren can do in his ability to stop Vegito from literally wrecking him on the battlefield. As only then for a moment we get to see Ultra Instinct Vegito in all his glory, which I will say, the shading, the coloring, everything looks amazing. For an amateur artist like this, I do believe in improvements and I do also think that the artist is going to inevitably improve with his work, so I can't wait to see what they're going to do down the line. But with Jiren glaring back at Vegito in attempts of breaking free, Vegito easily counters Jiren by punching him in the face. As of course we get to see how Jiren hits the ground, there is nothing in terms of power or speed that Jiren can do to get away from Vegito at this given point in time. Which by the end, there is something that catches Vegito and Jiren's interest, as they both seem to be staring into something out in the distance. I love how there is a momentary interruption between these two having to fight, because then out of nowhere, we get to see how the tournament stage is calm until out of nowhere, a massive blast seems to overtake the stage, which of course ends up changing everything, including the sky, which is eerily similar to what we've seen Topo do against Frieza by unleashing his massive Hakai. So, while Jiren was fighting Vegito, elsewhere, assumingly enough, Topo had possibly used his God of Destruction powers to change the field, as by the end, Vegito went along to comment, his energy seems similar to a Destroyer God now. With Jiren slowly turning his head, he also went as far as to acknowledge, so, he made up his mind. But still, as the manga chapter special then comes to a close. Now, from the beginning, there was absolutely no chance that Jiren had in his ability to use his powers to defeat Vegito because with Vegito simply having to be in his autonomous Ultra Instinct state or Ultra Instinct Omen, even then Vegito is putting out more power in having to use that to his advantage in putting Jiren down each and every single time Jiren attempts to attack him, which I think is something that would ultimately happen in the show if we saw that go down, to where even if we did see Ultra Instinct Vegito versus Jiren, I don't think in my own opinion that there would be anything Jiren can do to survive that battle, so I think the artist actually captures that magic in seeing Vegito hold the upper hand so blatantly against Jiren, but by the end, I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below about the battle involving Vegito and Jiren. Do you guys believe that at some point we are going to see more or less an involvement from maybe other warriors such as God of Destruction Topo? What exactly is going to be the fate of Android 17 and Frieza? I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below. You guys can go on ahead and check this entire manga out down in the description box below. Thank you all so much for watching guys once more. If you are new to this channel, then be sure to go on ahead and punch that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to never miss a single upload. Be sure to also give this video a big thumbs up by slapping that like button down below if of course you guys enjoyed this fan manga special. Tune back in for the next video and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys down in the comment section below. Take it easy guys. Peace. And the quick little reminder before you guys go, if you guys are unaware, I do have a second gaming channel located down in the description box below. So be sure to head on over to Unreal Royale and hit that subscribe button along with turning on all notifications as to there, you guys will find all different kinds of gaming content that you will not get to find on Unreal and Gaming, titles and video games such as Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, Gears of War, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, Dragon Ball Z Legends, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai, IG3, Minecraft, Blair Witch, and many other retro games on that channel. So if you guys are into gaming, then make sure you guys subscribe over on Unreal Royale. I want to thank you all so much for your time, and I'll catch you all in the next one. This is the Galactic Emperor of the Universe, and of course I'm here to tell you to subscribe to Unreal End Gaming. Also follow Unreal End Gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times. And if you don't, then very soon you will all be dead! <laughs> oh, did someone say unrelent gaming? Oh my god. The
fuck's up? I'm put on some clothes. Well, why don't you put on any clothes? What? I don't need clothes. But, uh, Jesus Christ, that's huge. <laughs> what, Broly? Freezer. Uh-oh. Prepare to die. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm the biggest Unreal Engine gaming fan. This is my moment. I'm a part of his notification squad. Universe 7 can have all the fun. I just want the food. And don't forget to leave a comment on this video. Show some love for the best community on YouTube. <laughs> K -k -k -k